Coming to you all the way from Norfolk, Virginia, Go On Podcast presents The Sex Birds. And we're recording and intro music, intro music, intro music, and hi there. Welcome to The Sexperts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Hader, captain of Senator Joe Manchin's houseboat, The Almost Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I love that because it's a John Denver song. Oh, that's... I, I tell you what, I would work for free. I love the name of that boat so much. Holy shit. But he does pay me. Manchin, he is such a superstar. You, see, you hear his name in the news all the time. Yeah, he's, um, you know, he really retreats to the houseboat to escape the limelight of the uh, media scrutiny these days. Um, <laughs> he used to go to the mansion mansion. <laughs> oh, Jesus. OK. But uh, they're all is. they're all staked out there. We can take our uh, houseboat out into the ocean. And yeah, so far, I hope they're not listening. Their media hasn't been able to track us down out there. What is he like as a person, though, Delilah? Because, um, you know, a lot of people, especially on the left, those lefties are all like, I don't like joe manchin he seems like a stand-up guy oh he's yeah he's a stand-up guy um he doesn't cheat in games he um (laughs) if he doesn't know the lyrics he just doesn't sing along to the song (laughs) instead of like kind of pretending he knows the lyrics does he know the lyrics to west virginia mountain mama country roads take me home does he um fun fact uh oh! Uh, if you see <laughs> Senator Mansion on the houseboat in his um, swim attire, you can see lots of the lyrics tattooed on various parts of his body. <laughs> yeah, he knows them quite well. Well, as a me thing, maybe he he can never remember them, and he just has to look on his like you know on his hand or whatever. Oh yeah, um, it's been I've, we've had karaoke on the houseboat <laughs> where people just spun him around and used, <laughs> used his body as the uh, karaoke. Props. Uh, it's the it's the verses and the bridge that, that I always forget, you know. I hear her voice in the morning. I, yeah, I know I know where to find those words on his body, <laughs> but I don't have his body here with me today. All right. Well, this episode is brought to you by Joe Manchin's ass. Okay. <laughs> no, we are the sex birds. Wow, we're wasting a lot of time here. We gotta get moving because we got a very special guest. We got a very special topic. <sighs> of all the jobs I've ever had, this is the most interest you've ever shown in one, and it <laughs> It's kind of touching. <laughs> All right. We're the sex experts. Every week we come to you live from a different location, uh, different topic. Uh, right now we are actually, and this is really super, we're actually inside of Disney World at the Star Wars Emporium. This is cool. For some, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Really? Delilah, have you not seen any of the Star Warses? I have seen part. I can't stay awake for them. Mm-hmm. I've started them, but I've never finished one. Yeah. Well, this this little character right here, this little cute little thing that looks like a little uh, Shih Tzu, that's called an Ewok. And uh, backwards is woke. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really subliminal there, George Lucas. Okay. All right. Let's get to let's get to our, our topic of the day. And speaking of Shih Tzus, um, you know we're not. We're not um, sex experts of the the beast kind. We're, we usually involve a lot. <laughs> we, six, six, six. The sex experts of the beast. <laughs> we actually we deal more in human sex. Like that's usually what we're about. But we decided we're, to shake it up. We're more six nine, less six six six. <laughs> we're more six nine, less K nine. <laughs> like oh, I thought I did well on that. All right. Um. So. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're talking about uh, some animals today. Uh, the topic of the day is you gotta be a kid to me. We're gonna talk about the weirdest animal penises on today's show, uh, and the echidna has got to be the number one. But before we talk about the echidna penis, which has four heads, but I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs> Let's get to our guest. Hi there, welcome. Hello. <laughs> oh God, do you need a glass of water? Watch you. Introduce- oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to our audience. What's what's your name and what what are you all about? My name is Russ Cole. Okay. And I am here from the compound in uh, Idaho. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm very used to being in front of the microphone. I can tell you got the voice of an angel. I, thank you. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, so what do you do in Idaho? I uh, was homeschooled and I 
a um, national spelling bee champion. Holy shit. Yes. Delilah, you, so uh, you probably already know this because Delilah booked you, but um, he has always been fascinated by spelling bees. He just, he's always wanted a spelling beer on the show and we've, yeah, it's never worked your, out. You can take your Jeopardy and shove it up your ass. <laughs> I'm a spelling bee guy through and through. <laughs> Uh, so, Russ, uh, uh, how many spelling bees have you won? Well, interesting story about the spelling bees. <laughs> okay. So, I just needed a number, but yeah, go for, I, we'll go for a story. Well, uh, zero, but <laughs> okay. there is a reason. Okay. I believe I am marginalized. Mm. Uh, people have issues with my prosody. <laughs> what? You're. <laughs> My, I, know, I know I'm a sex expert, but what is a prosody? My speech prosody is abrupt. I've done a lot of speech therapy, oh. and uh, it hasn't fixed <laughs> what people are worried about. Okay, all right. So you're very prosious. How does that uh, affect your spelling penis? Well, <laughs> for example, <laughs> when I am given the word B, <laughs> just spell. Like a Z. For example. Good question. <laughs> Use exactly. it in a sentence. You are in a spelling B. Exactly. <laughs> and that is spelled B. Whoa, wait. <laughs> I don't think that's right. I think it's B-E-E. -E. No. <laughs> no, it's not. I'll give you another example. Okay. The word cat. All right, cat. Yeah. Can I have it used in a sentence? <laughs> There's nothing... We probably won't be covering cats' penises today because there's nothing quite odd about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, well, I'll tell you how to spell it. Yes, please. F E L I N E, cat. I well, I just I heard the word feline, not cat. No. Oh. <laughs> Wow, uh, I can see how you've won zero spelling bees there, but um, this I, is fascinating. I kind of get it. I mean, yeah. who's to say how something's supposed to be spelled? This is a very postmodern exactly. take on this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like um, <laughs> if I can convey the meaning behind the word through a different uh, arrangement of letters, <laughs> you know? That is exactly why I accepted this booking. Yeah. I knew you understood me. I see you. I, knew I see it. you. I, I, see knew, you I feel seen. I can spell C. Spe spell, <laughs> spelled S C E N E, seen. Yep, I've seen you. Now, uh, it seems to me like maybe spelling bees aren't really your venue. Like, you're not more, you're more of a spelling artist where you take spelling to like an artistry <laughs> level. Abstract spelling. <laughs> Abstract spelling. <laughs> Absolutely. You're like the Picasso of spellers. Absolutely. <laughs> that is my goal. Wow. Okay. Well, let's let's throw out a few. I, I know um, we do have to get to our topic of the day, which is you got to be a kid to me. The weirdest animal penises, but of yeah, course, if you, if you abstract spell mm. some words together, you're like an abstract poet. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like Bob just, Dylan. <laughs> I think we just deconstructed the um, Beastie Boys. <laughs> okay. I actually trained with the Beastie Boys. <laughs> what? Yes. To, how'd you get hooked up with them? Well, that crew. There's not a lot of music or Wi Fi in Idaho <laughs> being homeschooled on a compound. Okay. Yeah. And I only had thrift stores mm. Mm. to venture towards. Good golly. So most of my music was primarily compact discs. <laughs> yeah. So I grew up listening to a lot of ABBA, <laughs> a lot of. <laughs> Tchaikovsky, yeah, and a lot of Beastie Boys. Wow, that's uh, that's quite an eclectic crew right in there. Um, and by Beastie Boys, I, I definitely meant. Um, wait, what? <laughs> Tribe Called Quest. <laughs> wait, why were you thinking of Tribe Called Quest? One of those guys was was known as the Abstract Poet. Q tip. I, I I don't know. I'm not a I'm not I'm not an archivist of. <laughs> Well, well, you see, you see, that's the point because it, it doesn't have to be the same word. Okay. So yeah, Beastie so, Boys actually could. Yeah. Okay. Be. The internet's backing me up here. That okay. Q-Tip was also known as the Abstract Tip, the Lone Ranger, the Last Sulu. <laughs> what the fuck, Delilah? This is why <laughs> you put away your fucking phone. I don't know what. It's I will do research on the air. You will not stop me. We need a new. I need a new co-producer. The, the thing that pissed me off <laughs> yeah. though is I typed in what I wanted to Google. Yeah, 
though, and I spelled it the way I wanted to spell it. Oh. And Google had the presumption to say, did you mean and oh, correct my spelling? My and this is the life of an artist. <laughs> Constant correction. Brutal. Constant reprimanding. Do you, do you, have, you, have you found another search engine that works kind of the way your brain works? Absolutely. I use DuckDuckGo. <laughs> DuckDuckGo. Okay. I almost ran around the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, she said like, go, not, not goose. Go. Yes. Yes. Duck, um, duck, go. Okay. <laughs> it's That's, it's if you won't if you don't want your identity uh, compromised. Yes. Especially the more famous and rich you become, uh, as I am experiencing firsthand. Wait, you're rich and famous? Yes, for spelling. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> How much money is there in spelling? You don't lose a lifetime's worth of spelling bees and not get rich and famous. <laughs> crypto. Uh, you get paid in cryptocurrency. Yes. Whoa. Which one? Because there's a there's is it Ethereum, Bitcoin, where we got Duck Coin. Uh, I'm, not at, Doge liber- I'm coin. not at liberty to say. <laughs> when is Liberty se- Coin? When is this experts Patreon switching to <laughs> to crypto? It's already on uh, We're getting paid in useless ass American dollars. It's already on Doggy Coin, I think. Uh, doggy for- Doggy. Yeah. Speaking of Doggy Coin. Oh, is that not how you spell it? Is that not how you say it? No, it just reminds me of cat penises. Oh, shit, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you, Delilah. Oh, my God. Good segue. We, uh, we, you got to be a kidding to me. The weirdest <laughs> animal penises in the animal kingdom. Um, and when I say kingdom, I mean kingdom. Because some of these wait, penises wait, wait, are wait, wait, dummy wait. thick. <laughs> uh, Speaking of dummy thick. <laughs> If you'd like, I can spell penis for you if you're uh, interested. Yeah, actually, we would. All yeah. right. Okay. Yes. Go for v- it. A G I N A. All right. Penis. Well, see, that's not even. I, I I have to say, it's not even artistic. Like that is just switch. It's the opposite. It's like opposite day. Like spell no, good. No, it is artistic. It's yeah? it's like the um, <laughs> Andy Warhol of misspellings. <laughs> what? Correct. Sometimes the most obvious is the most artistic, if you think Correct. about it that way. Correct. <laughs> Occam's razor. You mean like the fucking soup can? It's like a Campbell soup can of misspellings. So it's just like obvious? I, I, don't, it's I, like, mean, I, I like to apologize. You, I shouldn't say misspellings, alternative spellings. Thank you. <laughs> and, and alphabet soup is a wonderful <laughs> method for young children yeah. to learn to express themselves. It, well, it must have been hard for you growing up. Um, probably a lot of teachers gave you a lot of guff for your artistry, your spelling artistry. Oh, yes. I had many IEPs, uh, <laughs> even though I was homeschooled. Wait, what are IEPs? Uh, the Individual Educational Program. Oh, wow. Um, and although my, <laughs> so my parents and my aunt um, and my 12 siblings, um, mm. we were all schooled by my parents and my aunt. Um, Whoa. You know they try to they try to give these kids IEPs because um, the brutal irony is they say hey these kids want to spell how they want to spell well we're going to give them something that the spelling's in the name <laughs> and every time you say IEPs it you sounds can... like I eat peas and I'm like what okay cool you eat peas I don't what well, did... when I got mine when I was a kid <laughs> do you say when I got mine <laughs> when I got my IEP as a kid I um or I eat I, I knew I knew what they were doing I knew they were trying to rub my face in in yeah. a mandatory spelling, and I, I said, no, and I um, sent my teacher a thank you card. Thank you for my IEP, and I spelled it E-I-E. <laughs> E-I-E. Correct. I. Correct. And then the E, just like five E's, that, with yeah. all with long vowels uh, <laughs> signed on top of them. And then for P, yeah, I just drew a penis with fluid coming out of it very appropriate <laughs> very appropriate and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a number one finger <laughs> how does this work with you in um in mansion because you were in charge of his boat right you should see how so the boat's name is is almost heaven yeah you should see how that's spelled <laughs> yeah, I should. can you tell us how you spell it i can only imagine <laughs> Please, I share. almost spelled it right. Um, <laughs> not that there's a wrong. Uh, yeah. You get the terminology can really trip you up. Mm-hmm. It can. That's why it's an art form. <laughs> Please, sh- I, I would love to hear. Okay, so you know, it's obviously all is A L L. Obviously, okay. And, and where I mean, if you if you're familiar with my spellings, 
if you're if you're familiar with my work, I always spell all A L L. Are you? Did you just get rest on the show so you could like show off and like do like a one upsman? What is this? No, I'm oh. just talking about my art. <laughs> it's not a competition. Okay, well, I, I just you. It's, said not, a, it's not a spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> We're all good sports here. Uh, okay, yeah, of course. Yeah. We're all good sports, having a good time. Okay, so yes. tell us more briefly, <laughs> how do you spell almost heaven? A-L-L-M-O-E-S-T-T. I, oh, a disagreement? H-V-N. H-V-N? Yes, that, so... Personally, I do not spell almost that way. I, I, uh, now well, I can share how I spell it. Yeah, please. I spell it N E A R L Y. <laughs> almost. That makes okay. sense. That makes sense. I see that. All right. Okay. Well, but, but that's the beauty of this art. There's, there's uh, yes. room in this dictionary for an unlimited number of spellings. Well, here we go. I'm going to toss my ring in the hat. So, I'm going to give this a try as well, okay? Yes, please. Can I? Please. I've never flexed this artistic Hold on, muscle. Let me set the, let me set the hat out. It's so absolutely you can toss the ring euphoric. Okay, so almost heaven, I would spell almost heaven. A L M O S T H E A V E N and then one more N. You know, for your first time, that's not bad. It felt I felt dirty because I almost I almost wanted to say almost, but with like a U, but then I didn't do it because I got afraid. It's, I got I got two in my mouth. Adding you, that extra letter on the end mm-hmm. yeah. that really brings home that sense of that's what I was thinking. Th- overthrowing the establishment, and as you explore that feeling, <laughs> yes, you're oh. going to learn oh. the art of synonyms. Synonyms and the alphabet. Oh my god! And that goes back to the Campbell soup with Andy Warhol. Whoa! Do you know how pissed off? Yeah. Some people were when Seven Eleven came out with just spelling it with numbers. <laughs> I never but thought uh, about that. But over time, it became accepted. Did they, they used did? to spell it with letters? No, but people were demanding <laughs> it, like you know, like the the um. Like, uh, the people who can't like they their numbers are backwards. The, the, pu- the Puri- that's a problem. <laughs> the Puritans. <laughs> that's the, a problem. The Puritans, the colonists. Yeah, the colonists. They would protest the and threaten to burn down mm-hmm. all the Seven <laughs> Elevens. <laughs> I miss this era in history, but I could be wrong. I, and and that that brings up an interesting point. I believe it it touches on dyscalculia and and the acceptance of not doing math correctly. Holy shit! Is that you had twelve? Twelve siblings. Uh, did any of them discalculate? I I do have. Well, it's a sensitive topic. No, wait a minute. Are, you're not a discalculator, are you? Because instead of twelve siblings, you only have like twenty one to two or twenty one. <laughs> well, we do have one uh, that we don't speak to him much anymore. Yeah. Um. There's always one. There's always one. It's very. It's a personal topic mm. for I, my family and I, but. But the 7-Eleven, when it came out, Mm -hmm. and uh, it was the only one in the whole state. Oh. And it was right by the compound. (laughs) And that thing (laughs) was... That's a recipe for disaster. Boycotted. It was absolutely boycotted. Yeah. They used the eggs inside the (laughs) 7-Eleven to egg the (laughs) 7-Eleven. From the inside or from the outside? Like, they went in, they got the eggs, and they, oh, threw them inside and the outside. Double whammy. Whew. Ooh, eggs. Eggs makes me think of, you know, chicken eggs, which makes me think of, you got to be kidding me. The weirdest animal penises in the animal kingdom. Um, I have to say that uh, the echidna is probably the weirdest, but uh, I'm looking you know, around. You know who else has something weird? Who? What? Um, a lot of people don't. A lot of people like to talk about. I mean, I hate to go too much into politics, but a lot of people <laughs> said George W. Bush wasn't a bright man. <laughs> Did Joe Manchin say that? No, he understood him. <laughs> he understood George W. Bush was just a man who's he took like this type of art abstract spelling, mm-hmm. yeah, into the into <laughs> words that he used aloud. Listen, we he would just pick any random words and say them, I, but not they weren't random. I, I, I yeah, I gotta get my term out. He expressed himself <laughs> in his own unique way. I, I get and it. Pe- and people, the the country wasn't ready for it. I, I absolutely get it. I'm just saying we have to get to the topic of the day, but do you see there are actually these Jedi surrounding us? 
but they have employee badges. I think they don't want us recording inside. Oh, that may be an issue. Inside Disney World. So, uh, oh, God. I wouldn't God. Even know where to begin spelling Jedi. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, goodness. They have actual lightsabers. So Excuse me. Okay, oh. we're, we're going to shut down. Hold on just one second. Okay. Saber I, or saber? <laughs> S- depends. W O R R O R D. Just one more. Sorry. So, S words. Okay. Uh, we have to go. I'm sorry, Rust. Uh, right. They're kicking us out of Disney World. Apparently, the happiest place on earth isn't happy enough. Apparently not. You see, motherfuckers. Okay. Um, well, uh, anything else that you want to plug? Anything? Uh, can we catch you performing live somewhere or uh, as a spelling artist? Where, where will you be next? You can catch me on my tour across mm-hmm. the country. Um wow. It is a one man tour mm-hmm. and um, I will be there. I have a stage. It is a pallet that I have taken from Home Depot. <laughs> and if you see me on it, please stop. Please stop. And and if you could even give me some soup. Okay. That All right. would be wonderful. Well, yes, please, please give him some soup god damn it give him some soup um all right let's uh uh okay we're, we're going sir okay you don't have to push me with that lance little ewok all right uh, that's it for the sex birds sorry we didn't get to you gotta be kidding me i was really excited about it but um uh we gotta go uh that's it for the sex birds i'm your host dr john t alanese scpm and i'm delilah hater and um i'm gonna go back to the boat and try to talk uh senator mansion into getting hot stare with a heaven tattooed on his leg <laughs> See you next time. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening to the Sexperts podcast that go on podcast production. If you like what you heard and you want to keep this little show going, then please consider donating at paypal.me slash sexpertspodcast or donate a dollar a month at patreon.com slash sexpertspodcast.